up guys, my name's Captain Dave and welcome to something I've been uh, thinking of doing for quite a long time now but I've been slightly sceptical about starting it for reasons I'm not going to get into but I've decided just to go ahead and do it and that is to uh, show you guys how I go about creating my playthrough slash let's play, whatever you want to call it, of Fallout New Vegas. Now I've decided to use Fallout New Vegas because it is one of my most uh, detailed playthroughs I do. <laughs> Unfortunately I chose the longest playthrough out of all of mine to do the most in-depth <laughs> editing on so uh, kind of a foul on my behalf but in the long run I suppose it will benefit me but yeah basically the point of this video is I'm going to show you the process in which I go through when I'm creating one of my Fallout videos. Uh, not just uh, or partly just to show how much effort I put into each and every episode that goes up and so I can kind of toot my own horn a little bit <laughs> but uh, also because I know there's a few guys out there who are subscribed to me who also do this sort of thing themselves I've had multiple requests for people asking me if they could uh, if like how do I do this and what's the best way of doing this and uh, some people flat out asked if I can show them the process in which I go through so I guess this was is uh, it's to show what I do and also a tutorial for anyone who's thinking of doing a playthrough of any sorts this may help them with theirs although I do ask and I know people, depending on how popular this video gets, how people will just flat out ignore this advice. But I will ask, if people are going to take anything away from this, please don't just completely copy and rip off the ideas that I'm doing here. If I was to go out there on YouTube, and yes, I know two people can have the same idea without influencing each other in any way, shape or form. But if I was to go out there and find a video with great success and they've ripped off my idea to do that, I'd be a little bit, I'd be a little bit upset if I was the one who taught them how to do that. And I get no recognition for it. So... Please let this video be informative and help and stuff like that, but uh, I'd be greatly appreciate if people just didn't rip off my idea completely. But uh, yeah, that's enough rambling. Oh, sorry, my mouth's dry already. Take a sip of my tea. But enough rambling. Let's go on and show this. So this is going to be episode for Fallout New Vegas, episode 40. This is going to be, as we can see here, this is the finished product for episode 39, even though it says episode 20 there. But this is just before I finished it. So as you can see here, just clicking up bits, yep, this is episode 39, you can see here, and there's the very end of it there, and there's Gribble on top of a big light pole thing. But, um, yeah, so what I do is when I first do this, I have multiple different files, you can see there's a lot of stuff that goes into this because of the intro and stuff like that. So let, let's go, start at the very basis and show what I do. So if I open up my project, what I have here is uh, several different files. Now, Workshop Fallout, that's what I'm on in the moment. And Workshop Fallout, basically what I use that for is every time I'm creating a new file, I always change and alter Workshop Fallout. And then when I've finished and I've made the episode and I want to save it, I save them here. So each one of those is each one of the episodes I've uploaded. So see part 39, the last one, there's the What If episode and stuff like that and they're all the episodes I upload I only save them to their own episode once I've finished it if I haven't quite finished making the episode yet I do it there that way if there's any other problems I haven't ruined the original f the file I still have the episode there so if I want to go back and change it I'd open up one of these files and then save it as workshop fallout so that way if anything ever goes wrong I still have the original file nice and saved and preserved and I'll never lose that now as you can see there's other stuff here previously the fallout intro now what these are, is there was my original Fallout intro, there's my new one I made with Gribble, and then when Eddie came in, there's my second one, and then when Boone came in, there's my third one. Now the reason why I haven't saved over them like this is because at some point I am aware that minions come and go and stuff like that, so what I want is you want the sa different save files kept there, you don't want to lose them. You basically want them for reference, because if at some point, say I lose Boone or I lose Eddie, I can now go back to my previous intro and it's not lost. Let's face it, these little things, look how much memory that takes up, it's... 39.5 kilobytes, or I might have pronounced that wrong, whatever. It's not much, it's hardly anything, so it doesn't harm just to keep these saved here. So that's what I do there, that's how I do it. And to get those in, what I do is I make the intro, so let's open up this one, the Eddie and Boone one. This is the one we have right now. Uh, and yes, I will save changes done to that, because I've just dragged something in there. But if you open up this, this is the intro. This is my intro, what I use at this moment, which you are seeing with Eddie and Boone and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily going to go through the creative process of how I make this, because uh, it's, it's pretty simple. I just create clips that I want uh, for each thing, and I, I put it in the start. That's not what we're getting into. What I do is when I want to bring this over, you can't actually drag it in. So what I do is if I make, make, ugh, make this box smaller, 
and then I'd open up another Sony Vegas and then what I do is I literally just click and drag all of this which I've grouped together and I literally just group grab and drop it and put it in to the other playlist it's the easiest way to do it I'll just literally grab it and I pull it into the workshop one which is what I've done there so now get into it as you see here we have why let's start over what I do when I first go to make my episode is right now other than the title bit right there or right there I should say I see the episode is pretty much finished so what I need to do is I need to create before I do anything else before I do anything in which will be this one here Fallout part 10 I mean part 11 because this is the end of part 10 what I need to do is I need to go through and I need to make previously and to do that I need to go through each bit of this episode looking through what I did to see which are the important parts and the highlights of each episode to put into the previously so you guys can round up what happened in the last episode just in case you missed it oh I'm taking another sip of my tea there before it goes cold and also stop my mouth drying because <laughs> talking a lot dries your mouth out so right let's go through the previously of what we already have already and let's see how much of this is going to be relevant into the next story so let's have a look here previously in Fallout New Vegas we are going Boulder City should we head over to Helios 1 on the way yep Helios 1 let's check this place out I noticed your solar the tower isn't collecting much sunlight can I help? no need we are four. You liar. What exactly? All right. So what I can already see from this bit here is we've got the entrance here to where I say I'm going to Boulder City, then actually appearing on Helios One, and then we've got the lady who is uh, old Lieutenant Haggerty here, who is giving us our actual quest. So bits of this which are necessary aren't important anymore. We don't need the Helios One entrance, and we don't need. We are going to Boulder City because for the entire part 39, we don't leave any of this area. So if I click on that one and click hold control and click on that one, it highlights both. Right click and delete and they're gone. We no longer need them anymore so I can get rid of them. Now, should I leave in her telling us what we need to do? Let's see what she has to say. I noticed your solar of the tower isn't collecting much sunlight. Can I help? No need. We already have an expert hard at work on it. Then again, our expert is an idiot. Hell. He might as well be a saboteur. I guess you couldn't do any worse. Fantastic. Alright, so... I'm thinking maybe we don't even need her either. Because all she's doing is telling us to see him. And that's an episode ago, so we don't need that. What we're going to need, I believe, in this intro, is we are going to need slight bits of what they say, because they give us the quest. And then we've got part of the quest here, which we actually complete some of it in. I'm not actually sure if we complete it all in this one. No, we don't. I was going down to get some sleep when I ended the episode. So what I need is part of the quest they set and then some of the stuff that happens in the episode. I don't need all of their talking. So I don't need this bit in which I'm just shouting and being called Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> oh dear. Nobody copies the Fantastic Four. Nobody. Not even you. But uh, yes, we don't need this bit either. We don't need him. So let's delete that. This bit here, what does he have to say here? What exactly do you do? Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons. I turn down. We don't need this any bit. This is just a bit of a backstory on him, so we don't need him. We'll see the next bit. So you have no idea what you're doing, basically. No, man. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. All right, this is just yet again proving he's an idiot, so we don't need any of this. That was just carrying on from what Lieutenant Haggerty said before. So the next bit, I believe this is him actually telling us part of the quest here. But, uh, what are you trying to accomplish? Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right, so we're running at 1%. Yep, yeah, this bit seems like something we're going to need because he's beginning to tell us what we need to do. So we've gone to the next bit. Let's have a Far. look here. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. See, that's part of another quest, and I believe all of this bit is going to be relevant as well. Let's have a look. Uh, the NCR asked me to help increase the power. And is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon. We are safe. Root the power. Oh, the NCR has their own designs for it. Yep. Yeah. All four of these bits, they're relevant, and this bit here is just where the episode ended last time before we went in there, so we're not going to need this last bit either. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab these four bits, and if I hold shift and click on the last one, it highlights all of them, and the reason it highlights the bottom two is because I've grouped them together, and just in case you don't have to do that, let's zoom in just so I can show you. If you click on the top one, as you can see, they're grouped here already, so let me ungroup them just so I can show you clear, there we go. So right now, if I was to grab one of them, it moves it on its own. 
Now most of the time if you're bringing something in, that one and that one at the bottom and the top should be grouped. The middle one here is my voice. So what you do is you want to group them together, click that one, and you can either hold shift and click on the bottom one or you can hold control which is individual controls and do that. If you hold shift it will highlight from the first one to the last one, if you hold control you can select them in individual orders like that. So now all these three are selected, if I now right click and do group and do create new, now when I move them they all go together. And that's how I also move my intro about to so, see to stop all because if I had to move all those bits individually, mistakes would eventually be made. So now if I hold that on there, shift, hold that, I can now move the lot together. Right. Now when it comes to creating my intro, uh, the main part of this, if I just put them all together front to back, and you notice there's all these little up and that down lines as I'll tell you about in a bit, it's all about creating effect. If I just put them one after the other, it'll just seem like a complete mash of uh, pictures and sounds and trust me it it isn't good that's how I originally started to do this and it's why well, the first time I did this it took a long time so what I like to do is it's all about space and I tried this many times and what I found is after the previously about Fallout New Vegas bit I make the sound dip out first and then that and then what I like to do is I like to wait one second before I bring in the picture it's not much but it just gives a bit of time for your mind to think previously and then it's the next bit. If it hit in straight away, just like boom, 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 it'll be too much information right at the start of the video. So as you can see over at this point here, I keep pointing with my finger and realizing you can't see that. As you can see here, it's at 2 seconds and 28 frames, or 28 milliseconds. I don't actually know what that bit here is, half seconds or whatever. But I know it's at 2 seconds and then 28 of them. So what I want to do is I want this bit of video over here to start at 328. So if I zoom in enough like I have now, and then just with the directional buttons on my keyboard, just hold right until that number gets to 328. There we go. And now I drag this bit over. There we go. That's at the start. Now, normally, for these little sound bites, I'll get into that in a minute. What I like to do here is I like to fade in so it isn't just a quick cut to the video. I like it to fade in at the start so it's almost like something's beginning. I don't want it to be too sharp. So what you see is you see here if you hold it, that changes the length when it's a square. If I go up, it becomes like a little half arrow thing. What that does is that adds a fade in so it goes from black into the picture and it's not a sudden change. So what I do is I click there and bring it over and as you can see the numbers next to the fade offset are getting higher and higher. What I'm going to do is bring that up to 30 and that becomes one second. Now with the two bits below, that's my voice and that's the in-game sound, the bottom one. What I do is I also bring them all to one second, so that way they all come in at the same time and at the same volume and it's a, gen like a general sort of pace in. And I choose this particular fade type, if you right click and do fade type, I use this one here, so that way it, sl it starts off quiet, brings in, but it isn't too harsh. I found this one at the top, which is the default one, it, it brought it up too quick. I like a sort of a gradual but steady increase, so that's the one I choose there. Now, as you can see, these ones have kind of disconnected themselves. So if I just bring them over, connect them up, there we go. Now, what you can see here is I've got these little lines here. And what I found was if the picture went from this one over into the next bit, where you, let's do it here so you can tell the difference, from this guy talking to this guy talking with no sort of stoppage in between, even though that isn't a word, I found it, it kind of, it was too sharp. It didn't really, uh, it was too much like it was jumpy and sporadic and really sort of unprofessional sounding. So originally I tried doing what I did at the start with the one second gap and having it constantly go fade to black picture, fade to black picture, it didn't look right. So what I've done here is simply with the sound, every time they a new one starts, I grab the sound on both my voice and on the in-game sound and I don't drag it to a, a whole second, I just do it to 20 on those last digits, which I, I should have really researched what that is in time, but it, it's the 20 uh, when it's shortened in seconds. I drag it to that and that way it dips the sound down and then brings it back up and it just sounds right. Look, here it is, if I get rid of it, this is what it sounds like without it. Here we go. Do the rest from up there. Uh, the NCR asks, and now here's what it's like, actually if I just edit and undo it, it'll be a lot quicker. There we go. And now this is what it sounds like with it. Then do the rest from up there. Uh, the NCR it's not much of a difference, but I'm a bit of a OCD perfectionist, and that, to be honest, it just sounds more flush to me. It drip, dips down and pops back up again. It just sounds better in my ears. And then now that's going to flow along together. So that's the first bit. That's that done. That's all the intro from before, and here's my entrance video, which I can move around shuffle as I please. 
Oh god, so the fault just crossed. I really hope Fraps is recording this properly. It's the first time I've actually properly recorded something with Fraps, so and uh, I got rid of the numbers at the top corner. So <laughs> if this turns out this hasn't recorded, I'm going to be one upset little British guy right now. We have his tea that's going lukewarm by the second. So right, what we've got here, here we've got the end of the end of my intro, and then brings into the episode. Which is where I left off from before, as you can see as I'm clicking through here. Now what I need to do is I need to go through this episode and see which are the main points from this episode which need to be brought up in the intro. So the main points that happen, because as I say, I have 20 minute episodes, that's normally how long I try to make the full episodes, I normally make them 20 minutes, because it's not the most action packed, fast game, so I feel longer than 20 minutes might drag a bit. So I try to keep it a bit shorter. Because the last thing you want to do is get bored, and I know a lot of this game is just searching the stuff. So what I need to do is, out all that time, not much is always stuff you need, like terminals, stuff like that. We don't need to know that. So what we do is have a look through here, and let's see what we need to actually pick out for we go. our thing. So I'm sure that, that. So there's me searching for my guns. Here I attack the dogs, I believe, in here. Yep. And uh, <laughs> something also, by the way, when I'm searching for it, sometimes I use this little thing down here. That's the speed of play. When those numbers are on one, that's the average play speed, what you hear on YouTube. If I make that faster or slower, it speeds up. And it kind of does something funny to your voice, which makes me giggle every time I'm doing this. So I figured I'd share this with you. Come on, Poochie! What are you running off to? I wonder if they're going to be okay with me just shooting their dogs up, guys. Oh, I should use this gun more often. It's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, but that, <laughs> that kind of makes me laugh. I sound like one of the chipmunks. <laughs> but uh, it makes me giggle anyway. But, uh, right. So, this bit here, we turn on one of the... I think it's like a terminal or something. There we go. So, to connect the Helios 1 reflectors to the mainframe and stuff like that. I'm not necessarily certain... I'm going to need to put that in because I didn't take the me turning on the terminal from the last one. I didn't put that in there, so I'm not sure if I need to. I mean, they do talk about it, but I, I don't think it's really something that's necessarily needed in the plot line. What I think I need is stuff that actually happens in the episode. So, see if I, I mentioned anything before I go in. Uh, service rifle for now. Toolbox. Oh, God, it's getting out of my room. It's back now. That's why I always stick myself up some handy dandy water nowadays. Oh, it looks like some more guys getting angry in here. So, yep, yeah, this is where we're going. See, that might be something that's quite interesting. Even though it's nothing that's necessarily needed, it's me stating that I've gone inside a building. So now you know I'm not in the same place as these guys anymore. It's me saying, alright, I'm going into the solar tower, the solar collection tower. So that may be something I actually need. So let's zoom in on this bit. And let's go back a few frames, holding the left button on my directional arrow. arrow and there we go. As you can see there, that's where one of my voice bits starts. Let's play it and see what I say from this point on. Oh, it looks like some more guys getting angry in here. So... All right, I don't think I necessarily need to me uh, me pointing out these bad guys in there, but from here I may need it. Yep, yeah, this is where we're going. Let's go, boys. Yep, yeah, that whole bit there I think is something I'll need. So what I do is you can either right click on this arrow, on this line that's going down right now in between the two speech bits. You can have a right click on there and do a split, but sometimes that moves this. So what I like to do is I like to just press S. And that automatically splits everything you've selected. So if these weren't grouped, it would only split whichever one I clicked on. But because these are grouped together, it sends a line straight down the middle and splits them. Now none of this stuff here to the left I want. So what I do is right click, delete, and that's gone. So let's play this bit through again. Yep, this is where we're going. Let's go, boys. Right, and that's that bit there. That's what I want. So if I press S again, right click, cut that, that's gone. Go right back to the start. Now I want to make sure you definitely make sure you click on video before you paste it in. And control V, there we go, paste. So make sure you definitely click on video because sometimes it can put it in random places, it can put it on there, it can create a whole new line, and it just gets messy. So what I'm gonna do now is if I bring it back to the connection point, and sometimes a weird thing happens sometimes when you drag this back and a bunch of zeros come down this middle line, and it means you can't create these little sound dips. To do that, if that happens, all you literally have to do is just drag one of these back and do that, and it sorts it out. And that's what I always find. So what I'm going to do now is I make the fade up to 20 again, and the fade up here to 20 again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this bit here. Uh, there's no point me doing it here yet, because as I said, sometimes those weird zeros come down and it deletes everything you've just done. So I leave that, and I'll come back and I'll do it once I connect the next one together. Right. So now I'm going in the building. Let's see if I say anything of any relevance when I first get in there. 
Well, this bad guy, so I'm getting my gun out ready. Oh, here we go. Friggin' rep content all over again. Oh, whoa! Gam right, what I might do here, actually, if I remember, to say, if I remember rightly, I put that in because it <laughs> it's me completely getting my butt handed to me as I was just like mocking the game. It kind of slapped me back in the face for saying it. What I might put in here is uh, this entire place I went through, for those of you who have seen part 39, my minions, being Eddie and Boone, kind of <laughs> did all my work for me, really. I didn't have to do much. So I might put this bit in just to prove that they completely whoop ass. So I believe it was from about here I need. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that, yeah, that's perfect. So if I just drag this to that point and play this again. Oh, here we go. Friggin' rep content all over again. Whoa, whoa! Get out of my way, guys. No, I don't need that last bit. So let's just cut it after I say whoa, whoa and literally wet myself. And let's play it from there. What's back here? That's me turning into the wall. So... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back to about there. Cut that. And cut. And back to the start. And as you can see, this is quite a long process. As I said, making these things, they take... It, it takes a very long time. So, it's why I uh, I have other playthroughs on the go, not just... Oh, that's, I'm going to just go to 20. And by the way, there's a quick way of doing this. If you bring one to 20 and then put the, the little marker there, you can just drag the other one to that. And it makes it a lot easier. Now, as you can see, this one's gone the wrong type of fade. So I right click on that and bring that down to the fade I like. So there we go. But um, yeah, that's why I have other playthroughs going at the same time. It's not just because I like the other playthroughs, which I do. That's the reason I do them. But um, it's also because to, to edit these Fallout videos, it takes a lot of time to do. The time I don't always have. So that's why uh, there, there are other videos sometimes there may be gaps in videos it's not because I don't upload stuff or not because I don't have content although once it was because of that it's just it takes a lot of time to edit it and I don't always have time to do it so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to skip forwards until it gets to the point where my minions kill them for me <laughs> because I was too slow, lazy and or incompetent to do it myself and that sets a kind of a precedent for what happens in here so I just want to add that a little bit in and just for something a little bit and funny little funny bit there that really has nothing to do with the story that itself takes ages for me to put in so let's have a little look here what happens come on shoot it oh you're just shooting the bat the tube in front of it aren't you oh great that really did no good get out his submachine gun oh they got it nice one right that I keep forgetting to pause it. Right, that's where I want to start it from. When I, I express my shock that they did it for me. Which I believe is here. Oh, they got it. Nice one. And they took out this. Yeah, that's where I want it from. So let's bring this bit forwards. And lava, rinse, and repeat the same process. Oh, they got it. Nice one. And they took out this. Sweet, these guys are doing everything for me. Cheers, guys. <laughs> I didn't have to do anything. There we go, and that's what I want. See what I say just after that, just in case. Holla. Mm. Now, I'll leave the holla bit out. don't really need that in there. It'll just drag out the intro. And that's one problem I found, is uh, when I'm making this intro, every time I make it, it seems to get longer and longer and longer every single time. And that's something I've got to try and avoid, because the intro is supposed to be a short and quick thing just to give you an update of what happened before. And quite often, I drag it out a bit too much, I found. Especially if there's something interesting that's happened in one episode, or I need a previously from a previous episode to still be involved in it. So it can take a lot of time. But as you can say here, let's repeat the process. 2020, blah, 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 blah. blah. And let's see what happens along here. Uh, skip forwards a bit. Nothing really happens in here. I go in here, clear out some mines, look at a turret, a computer even, and realize I could have cleared the turret without <laughs> having to shoot it. But oh well. Pass a hat game, which is rare for me. Slide forwards a bit more. See, look, all that. Look at that. That was what, five minutes of footage I didn't need. So, no, just looting him, looting him. See, none of this stuff is needed. But I think something coming along here is... No, no, that's just... Eddie telling me something <laughs> going on about something that I didn't know. Me shooting down some more turrets. Even though Boone, I think, does it for me in the end. 
no, nope, they're right. Nothing's really happening along here. I think I'm just expressing my boredom of this place. And if I rem oh, hang on, there's another bit here. Yes, there's another bit here where one of my minions does the damage for me. And I think that's what I'm going to kind of make uh, this episode sort this sort of like previously about. Just basically because in the past episode, my minions did everything for me practically. That, that that's what happened. <laughs> I did nothing myself. They did everything for me. So I believe Boone whoops some butt here again. So let's play this bit. I think it's at the right point. In the morning. Oh, look at that. Jesus, my minions are awesome. I didn't have to do anything anymore. I might just put my gun away. Yeah, <laughs> that's dead on. So split there, delete everything before that, and just play that to the point I need. In the morning. I actually, no. I don't want that quite there. Let's get it till just before I speak, because I don't want the uh, the, robot's, the robot's voice in there beforehand. Because I don't like stuff to start halfway through a sentence. It sounds weird. So let's do that again. Oh, look at that. Jesus, my minions are awesome. I didn't have to do anything anymore. I might just put my gun away. There we go. Stop it there. And cut. Back to the start again. And here we go again. Now, sometimes this process here sometimes can be really quick. If there's nothing at all that's happened in an episode or nothing I even want to talk about, sometimes I just keep the same previously as before with maybe just like a slight bit of info. But... Trust me, this this has taken a lot longer to do sometimes, a lot longer to do, especially when I've made it and realised it's been about three minutes long and I've had to cut it down even more. And sometimes if it's really quick, I try and make little fancy editing bits, but as I say, time sometimes provides not to. And I'd, I'd much rather not get an episode up and wait and get a much better episode up than do a slightly kind of pants one. So anyway, let's have a look at this next bit. I don't think anything really happens along here. Nope, just looting, looting, going around. I think I may <laughs> talk shit about Eddie and Boone here. A little bit further. No, nope. no. Nope. Looking at stuff. Oh, I think Boone one shots this guy as well. I might have a look at this bit as well. All right, Boone's lost his mind. Whoa! Boone. Yep, yeah, I'm having that bit as well. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me chuckle. Yeah, I think I make. Uh, I've done this before, like when I kept getting exploded by the mines, and when the NCR made sexual references. And I believe I've done it a few places before, expressing my boredom in Nipton. And this is gonna be another one of those little kind of like montage clips of where just clip after clip after clip of just one of the same thing keep happening. So this is gonna be one of those, and it's Boom being a badass. All right, Boom's lost his mind. Whoa! Boom! Hostiles. End it there. And stick this one back here again. As you, as I mean, if this sort of uh, thing is something you're interested in, then obviously I can understand you're getting extremely sort of I don't interested in this sort of thing. Um, if this is something that really doesn't appeal to you, and I suppose I should have reset this at the start. I, I might make a little uh, video thing at the start. I'm going to have to anyway to not give away any spoilers about this episode. But um, if you're not really into editing. Or, you, or you're not curious about this in the slightest and this probably isn't going to be a video to you but then saying that if you're still listening to my voice at this particular point in time you, you are finding it interesting or at least you just like the sound of my voice one of the two, either way I'm glad you're here but uh, yeah hopefully I mean I, I'm not a great editor in the slightest don't get me wrong, I've tried making stuff before and I'm terrible at it I mean I only have the uh, Sony Vegas Platinum 9 because uh, for some reason me being the dumbass when I first bought this I thought Platinum meant it was better it doesn't. This has a lot less stuff that normal Sony Vegas 9 does in it. But that's my own bad. I should have researched it a bit before I bought it. That's something I'm going to have to just learn on in the future. I'm, I've, I've been debating buying uh, the proper Sony Vegas at some point, but uh, not now. I, I don't see the point in doing it just yet. I've got all this stuff on here, and I've got no real need to get a better product just yet when this is suiting me just fine. And this bit we're going to add in because it is a Fallout quad moment. So I ran this in, let's go from about there, it looks like, it looks like there's no talking going, so let's see what this goes like. And play this one out. To fear. Can you shut the hell up? Do not be alarmed. Oh! Order will be restored soon. What's that? That's a quad! <laughs> <laughs> yep, so let's go from there. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, something in my throat. To fear. Can you shut the hell up? Do not be alarmed. Oh! Order will be restored soon. What's that? That's a quad! 
Oh, blew his face off. Guys, well done. That was impressive. There we go. Let's have that there. Because <laughs> normally, normally I'm laying into these guys about them being dumbasses, and that's because normally they are dumbasses. But that was quite impressive. And I'm aware they did most of the work, by the way, before somebody mentions it. I am aware they did most of the work. As I was shooting them, the little armor plate thing was coming up. But as I say, I record a lot of this stuff in advance. I learn a lot of stuff. Once I've recorded this, I learn a lot of stuff about the game afterwards. I mean, I, I've recorded a lot further on from this point in time. I mean, uh, uh, yeah, so, yeah, actually, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> that's about to reveal some some secrets about something that was upcoming on my channel, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, oh, that was close, and he slipped up. I don't want to be doing that. Right, so we're coming towards the end now. I mean, all this time, it's just creating the intro. I mean, I don't know how long we've been going at it now. I should have really clock, clocked the, ugh, had a look at the clock before I started it, but all this so far, just been the intro.